terribly limited. But there's that old, fabulously important principle in, in everything to do with design and art. And it, it, these are not my words, alas, they're too fine for that. But Joshua Reynolds, the head of the Royal Academy 250 years ago, he said, rules are an inspiration to genius, not an impediment to them. And I love the rules which 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 govern the you know which govern the um, which govern the design of, of stamps. You've got a time space. Um, you've got limited you know, limited resources. Uh, you've got to do something which combines uh, you know I mean uh, you know powerful you know it gives a powerful impression but maintains dignity. The stamps are always often you know, always always issued by you know, you know, you know by um, by countries. Um, but what I mean to say, everything comes together. In, um, I mean, I love graphics, and in the stamp, you get you get miniature graphic masterpieces. Now, of course, it would be foolish for us to deny that, in one sense, um, stamps are in danger. I mean, sometimes I sort of worry that stamps might go the way of pulp ashtrays. Mm -hmm. The pulp ashtrays are marvelous for minor art form, which has been completely killed off by you know by you know, by you know, by, you know, by, legisl by legislation. And of course, in one sense, stamps are obviously threatened by you know, threatened by um, uh, new technology. But then. You know, then again, no, because I think that why is that said? While I, you know, while I fully respect the new technology, I also think as soon as you know, the new technology get a certain amount of you know momentum behind them, then you know what we all know about human taste. As soon as something gets established as a consensus, you know, people start going the other way. I'm predicting a, you know, I mean, a, I mean, a renaissance in um, a renaissance in letter writing, certainly. When I see you know, uh, when I see a stamp, um, any sort of stamp, whether you know, in, uh, you know, wherever they are, and this is obviously in the world centre of, 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 of stamp of stamp collecting, I think two things. I think immediately I want to write a letter or a postcard. Um, secondly, I think what an idiot I am, um, you know, not to collect these things. But then I also think something more. I think that I think that uh, I think even more important than that. I think stamps to me and uh, represent the absolute essence of what uh, of what. Uh, you know of what design is. It's something which is uh, you know, useful and um, and beautiful, and even more important um, as things change, as we all know in Stanley Gibbons, increasingly valuable. So anyway, the answer to that question, which 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 which, 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 which thick American teenagers ask, what is a stamp? The answer is it's something useful, beautiful, and increasingly valuable. And thank you to John and to Louise and for um, you know, for asking me down. I think this is a wonderful thing. And um, I think we should be inspiring for everybody. And let's, uh, let's all you know, buy more stamps and write more letters. <laughs> <laughs>